All right, captains, good evening. Hopefully everyone is doing well on this Tuesday night. Almost already Tuesday, dear Lord. All right, cast before we get further into the stream, do us a huge favor. If you're already here, help the channel out while we're streaming and also the channel overall, hit the like button. But also, it will also help the VOD when we're done streaming. So uh, tonight, as we did last time, and I think this is kind of what we're going to do when there's a 10 forward is kind of just listen to because I have service, so I won't be able to really uh, watch it as I'm getting ready, or if, if I do, it's just not, I can't watch the whole thing. So whilst we do our paperwork to catch up on some nights that we've missed anyways, we're going to listen to the 10 forward. I know some of you already have, but I haven't, so I want to kind of give my two ECs whilst we do that. And... We will see who's here. Uh, Augie! Admiral, I am here to spread your cheeks. What? What? No! That's, you're not here to... No! No! no. That's not. Uh, you no, know, I don't. Wayne, how's it going? Captain on the bridge. Warning him? Oh, God. Blaze! Captain, how are you? Captain on the bridge. Uh, I'm doing well. I heard a... New ships coming, on the first ship so far, Kelvin. I really, <laughs> when I think it was Augie and Sav, <clears throat> and some of you caps were talking about the Sacom, I saw that and I was sold. Uh, not really sure how I'm feeling about this, but we'll see. I'll listen to it and, and, and we'll see. Uh, doing yet. Uh, Space oh Boy, how are you? Admiral, Surprise. you will come with me. Surprise, but I can't say it the way you did it. It's hilarious. Uh, Chosen, how are you? Captain on the bridge. I have to say the new Kelvin timeline ship looked cool. I, I, I didn't, I'm going to hopefully kind of see some angles. There was one angle that was concerning me when I first saw the refit from the side view. This was years ago, which the pylons just looked so off, but uh, we'll see. You have served <laughs> Um, Tuesdays, Saturdays, Bobby. sometimes choir practices. The good working on my ground build. Nice. From Star Trek Beyond film? Yes. Uh, the literally like the last scene, but I was actually more excited about the ship that I didn't even know about. I, I thought it was a fan made ship. Was good? Yes. Thank you, Dwayne. Uh, when we do our bit on that, we're going to definitely give you some credit for putting that there. I appreciate that. Um, so. Without further ado, we're just going to let this play. Uh, I'm going to watch it, listen to it whilst I do some paperwork. Please catch up on that. So, um, And then, like I said, drop some ECs here and there. Like I know some of you already watched this, but I haven't. So let's get to the actual... Welcome to there we go. Hello, everybody. Hit the wrong button. Welcome to another episode of Ted Forward Weekly. Uh, my name is that on? Is yeah. Adam. I am your senior community manager. It was Jesse uh, and, and Mike there. I am joined there. Uh, this week by the amazing, talented. Any popcorn? Uh, David, how's it going? Jesse, Jesse Heidi, Sam. Hey, yo. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the Calvin uh, timeline. How are you doing today? We're gonna see it in a bit, though. I'm uh, doing pretty good over on the side there. Um, I'm feeling the strength of the designer's elbow. <laughs> I don't yeah, know Next year. Oh, really? You like that, Chosen? Or two nights ago, because it was great. That was unexpected. I did not think they would actually go there. <laughs> yeah, I'm very pleased. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was really hoping for uh, the... Well, La Lacombe? Saco oh, I can't remember what it was. Just working the assembly line at Fort. Oh, nice. Well, thank you for uh, stopping by. I appreciate that. Uh, excited to guess what new Kelvin timeline ship is. Not poop sticks on the <laughs> MC. Uh, this is if you will come with me. Available uh, starting on Thursday. In, oh, jeez. Uh, the uh, Sp Infinity promotion. Already. Pack. So if you get an Infinity uh, R&D pack or an Infinity Duty Officer pack, uh, that'll get you a chance to get this ship. Uh, commence wheeling and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> I'm waiting yep. for it waiting for it oh okay. you know yeah it's commodore target said that means it could be also could be your uh 
uh, your event campaign ship next year. So See? that is the good news. Um, and it's all oh, good news. True. Um, I don't know. I yeah, feel like we this should ship. Hello, Sora. How's it going? The Captain on the bridge. Uh, at me. Uh, I don't even know if they're trolling. Cool. There it is. They are. Yeah, there is no Kelvin over. All right. Well, there will let's, never let's be a Kelvin over. Kelvin over. Let's make him wait. <laughs> so we, we've got first contact day coming up. Obviously, it's a little after actual first contact day this year. We're launching that on the 11th, so a couple of days. So we could talk about that for a little while. We could, actually. I didn't actually go to... Um, Red? That. So what happened? How you doing? I, I thought I was doing the stream with zero guests. Uh, and then about five seconds ago, Jesse said, messaged me and said, hey, I'm ready to do the stream. And I said, well, what? Because <laughs> <laughs> I had money, couldn't make it. Uh, so we scrambled <laughs> We scrambled to get him on, which is why we started a little late. Um, but also, uh, it means uh, I didn't actually prep to show you guys the uh, photon launcher on stream. Do we have to start numbering the dumbs to your your numbers? Maybe. Uh, Jesse, you want to talk a little bit about how this, this lovely new Absolutely. weapon came to you out? Okay. So, um, some of you fans will recall that a little while back, we managed to sneak in a weapon that originally showed up in the video game Star Trek Elite Force, um, the IMOD, the Infinity does look like a cool weapon. anti-Borg rifle. And uh, that was a big hit, and uh, as a result, we decided, awesome okay, um, let's uh, yeah, get I know. Gravy Train going. What's another really memorable weapon from Elite Force? And of course, the Photon Burst, which is I never played it, version so. of a rocket launcher basically a very large rifle that fires micronized photon torpedoes and uh, so he said can we get that into the game and of course the answer was yes and that is what we're going to be bringing to you for first contact day this year the photon burst um it is classed as a rifle and uh so it's affected by various it's like a grenade launcher uh but it's a little bit unusual as far as rifles go um because it has to fire micronized flesh. photon torpedoes what? so uh, there's a limit to how many of those <laughs> that it can have in its magazine at one time so it, it has uh ammunition it will carry six charges uh, after which it starts using an internal replicator to generate additional charges. You know, I love the sound of that. That actually just sounds torpedoes. cool. Yeah. And uh, the uh, the charger, every 15 seconds, will generate another charge through the replicator. So the expected gameplay is that you will come into a fight and you will open with this thing, just raining fire and mayhem down upon your enemies until it runs out of charges, and then you swap to your alternate weapon and use that to clean up on your opponents. Ooh, if you're nice. in an extended boss fight, you might up switching, uh, might wind up switching back to the photon burst again after it recharges a few more of those torpedoes. Six charges? Uh, it does detonate and hit an area around the target Ooh, that you hit. That's cool. So it will damage and knock opponents that are close to your main target. Uh, enemies that are defeated by it are disintegrated just Ooh. like they were in Elite Oh, Force. good. Oh, good. Um, and you can even knock yourself back with it. If your target is very close to you, the force <laughs> of the knockback can knock you down. So be cautious about your ranging. You won't blow yourself up, but you will knock yourself to the ground. As long as uh, you take damage. The secondary fire mode is a homing torpedo. Yes! yes! Uh, when you fire that, instead of it launching toward your primary target, it launches to whichever foe is closest to you. So if you oh, are in a tight spot with a lot of enemies, and you use the secondary fire, uh, it might fire off to the side or even around behind you and hit someone that you didn't see. Hit <laughs> on the ground, yeah. At least it won't damage you. It looks so cool. Dest fully destructive power of this weapon. Uh, Doesn't look like it's doing a lot, but... Uh, now I'm out of ammo. I can't fire anything, so I have to switch to my backup weapon. You think for a micro torpedo, it would, like, uh, and kill them a lot uh, more. Uh, these guys up that way while we're waiting for Finish them charge. off. Yeah. Uh, I had a question that cool, though. it will uh, blow our team back or affect us. Boom Squad, yeah. Nope. Oh my god, my so wallet? Right Zell, how's it going? <laughs> You, Captain on the bridge. You're liking that uh, you Enterprise A? Your uh, team members. However, if you have resistance to knockdown effects, uh, that resistance does apply. So it is possible for you to avoid being knocked down. There's so many. I know, Sam. There's a chance to knock down. It's not guaranteed that it'll get you every time. Oh, okay. um, like, does it's, the, uh, it looks like it's just tickling them. And that's on uh, advanced. That's in a levelless format. So it will level with you up to level 60, and then you can convert it using the upgrade system into a Mark 12 weapon and upgrade it from there all the way up to Mark 15. Um, it is uh, pretty brutal. It uh, is. The, uh, 
the damage output is solid. It is also... Uh, it doesn't seem like it. I don't in know. the best possible way. Completely silly looking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Let's take a I like the look of it. Hold on. Stop turning around. No, nope, like the fire <laughs> visual looks pretty cool. <laughs> free cam. Yeah, I'm on free cam, but she's... There we go. You Why is she her. turning while well, free cam? That is so weird. Yeah. That's a huge uh, so yeah, freaking... Got a little, look at that. Uh, little heart of a star looking thing in there uh yes i do have god mode on. oh right mystic tree i have god mode on. i do have oh, that would explain why you weren't getting knocked although i only have warhead mineral damage and you knock, knock back enemies and like disintegrate right, upon contact the, the power can't target you to knock you like it should be able to take out one squad <laughs> and then <laughs> the, uh, recharge yeah the uh photon burst can be given to bridge officers they will know how to oh, use it uh, that, yes but, uh, yes That'll be fun. Charges, and then all they can do is run up and rifle butt people with it. I mean, so, uh, that might not I mean, be the best use for it. Um, oh, nice, nice, nice. Deployed by the captain. And Mr. Grisper, how you doing? Well, I don't need to apologize. If you will come with me. Beyond to model this to look like. Hell does have crap. I, exactly the weapon. You're right, Scott. Of, how you doing? Idea of, on the okay, bridge. we've got. I'm definitely giving that to my box, and then just raining torpedoes on ground. Make this thing stand out. And uh, I'm hoping that everyone really enjoys this. You'll be able to get it for free from the first contact day event. And of course, it is account reclaimable once you've done so. And the contact, the first contact day event is super fun to play. So it's I, it looks cool. I like the visuals of it. Right. Almost has like an so arc like to it. charges on this thing is eight torpedoes to start with? Six, or six? It six. Be six torpedoes. Okay, cool. And yes, it does kinetic damage. Um, and the entire away team with photon torpedo rifles absolutely oh, you have 100 percent that's just uh, let's go on squad because that works perfect for Klingon. i got stuck in a game called hellblade we just i heard about it with that one launcher. right <laughs> um one of the design goals with this too is that we already have the micro torpedo launcher kit module and we and really want the photon yeah. burst to feel like it's a bit beefier because it's an actual gun it's not like an attachment that is you know, a, a wrist rocket or something you clip onto your uh, tricorder. It's a so there is a firing a full-on photon torpedo. So reputation, hard. I believe, yeah. right? And uh, since it's kinetic damage, um, of course, rep, very effective against torpedo board and a and winter event torpedo. If I'm not mistaken, oh, that's true. I should go. And, I should get this to go and use. I should use this and a sword. That should be my loadout. This <laughs> there and a <you> sword. <laughs> Uh, uh, Mystic Tree 44, this is account reclaimable, so you can reclaim as many of them as you like, so you can get them for your bridge officers. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Um, having to play, pay... Uh, Micro play, yeah, play, uh, and then there's the, the from the Winter have, Store, if I'm not mistaken. At least three different options. So, from the Terran rep? Was that from the Terran rep? I can't remember. Right, I know one of my game, tunes has it. Rocket game. You can do One Night in Bozeman, where you're helping Seven of Nine to prevent the Borg from overrunning the Enterprise E crew uh, yeah, as seen in First Contact. Uh, and, uh, of course, you could play... Um, uh, oh, gosh, there's another piece of content, and it has totally slipped my mind. I guess uh, I don't talk about past Synthwave. content out there. Synthwave, thank you. Yeah. The uh, the synthetic revolt on Mars. Um, that one is fun just for the music alone. Yeah. Playing yeah. um, Folks are saying uh, that it doesn't look super powerful in the nice. gameplay demonstration that I'm giving. It's I called Snow Torpia. I what that is, but it's probably something to do with the way I've set this character up, uh, rather than I'm sure I'm sure you DPS heads will have it raining death from the skies. Uh, but everyone noticed it doesn't do that much. <laughs> right, so its uh, damage, of course, is going to scale based on its mark, or if it's uh, in its level is formed based on your level, That's it's true. affected by your, your rifle weapon skills. So if your character isn't a rifle specialist, uh, it, it might not be the greatest weapon of all time for it you. It looks cool, though. And this is, of course, a, um, you know, a very narrow path to tread. We want it to feel good and to be memorable, but we don't want to make this best weapon in game. Always Why not? Use this, nothing else ever, because then what? once we've given we away, have those anyways, that anyone would ever want to use. So why would we do that? Not, not, <laughs> not true. I think All right. people well, will still tend to use whatever they want. This thing is awesome. I'm glad we made them wait a little bit just for our own amusement. Uh, but I think we should probably go show off this ship, especially since some of them saw Let's it in my it. menu. Well, engineering team and anchor, grass door, launcher. Oh. God, that sounds fun. I did see this part. I'm not gonna lie. I did. Well, I didn't know. Foggy. I... Normally, I just let things go, but I'd have to let that word go go all the time if I say allow. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna not let that word go through all the time. <laughs> Were you saying that word you said earlier? 
Uh, free spirit, yeah, it is the weapon from uh, for, uh, Star Trek, uh, from Elite Force. That is, uh, we mentioned it up at the top of the stream. Probably <laughs> it's it's it. Yeah. Straight up. Out of Elite Force. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now ah, there you go. The Chroniton Micro Torpedo Spread. That's from the Terran, right? The Terran? No. It's the Star Trek Extended mm, Universe. What rep is that from, so Dwayne? Many glorious things that not taking the opportunity to add them in here and there and spice up Star Trek oh, with them so would be a real explosive. <laughs> very glad that we were able to get this in. And here we go. And here H we Abute. go. Here I need to see the side view of that because the pylons. Many of you guessed it. Kinda... This is the uh, mm. Kelvin Enterprise Constitution Two or Enterprise A. Uh, as was the Terran okay? In the closing credits of Star Trek Beyond. I think I said Terran uh, and, first. Uh, I'm excited to get this into the game. Those spinning Side. wheels in the cells look very, very cool. Uh, and, it's like we had that already, uh, Kale. You know, it's this is interesting. So I don't know how much you know about the uh, um, the pr process behind, behind designing the <laughs> ship, Jesse. But the uh, in the winter um, events. You know, from them, yes, like there's two of them though. The One from a rep that you can. I was thinking like a torp. And stuff. On ground, torps uh, on ground. This one, you know, we only saw it getting built, so the team I know had to. Uh, I want to see the side uh, view. Like it, I like the nacelles; they actually kind of match the sh the right. But fortunately, the size of the ship. Star Trek Beyond itself provided some great inspiration in that regard for the team. Um, the Enterprise the Star Trek only? Beyond, of course, gets destroyed by the Ultimate. Can't remember who swarm, has it. Which is a, a massive swarm of tiny, mostly automated vehicles. Uh, that pick it apart like locusts devouring something. Side view, side view, side and, view. Uh, Come it on. makes sense that the uh, successor to the Enterprise would have some technologies that are designed to make sure that that sort of crisis doesn't ever happen again. Uh, now, this is, of course, a, a cruiser-type ship, so it is uh, got a strong engineering lean with a commander engineering uh, slash intelligence seat uh, and a lieutenant commander pilot, tactical oh, pilot seat, okay, yes, I believe. Ahead. Yeah, it is, it is um, Intel Pilot. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you Pylons. were saying it was a Side view. Come on. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> right, right. No, no. Commander Engineering Intel, Lieutenant Commander Tactical Pilot. Um, and uh, the uh, console that comes with it, with, it, uh, with it, then, is the Proximity Based Anti Opposition Emitter, or PBAOE. This is a defensive countermeasure that's made to fight Micro against Micro Torpedo the Launcher. And when you activate this console, there it, it is. extends Small your shield tip slightly. You're doing that. Hold yeah. on. Uh, just gotta find we'll it. Get there. There it is. Okay. And you uh, should cannot complete with the jade. Uh, so I'm gonna move From the tempo this. rep? Well, wait, wait, we have another one? Oh, shoot. Okay, there you go. Tactical. You guys look at the yeah. Tab. So the, uh, the micro torpedo. Dang, we got. Extend your shield slightly and then. That's it, awesome. It puts up a rain of phaser fire Intel Pilot? I think it's Intel Pilot. Your emitters and your yeah, shields. Yeah, Intel. Um, primary. So that it causes damage to everything inside of that area, just vaporizing mines, targetable torpedoes, and fighters, and doing damage to enemies that are in close proximity. Uh, it also gives you improved maneuverability at the same time and makes you immune to kinetic and phaser damage. So this is great if you are going to get right up next to somebody. Uh, you activate this, you can wipe out large groups of fighters like the Herc. Um, you don't have to worry about those pesky Romulan torpedoes when you've got this thing up. Uh, and if you're playing a ship that has high maneuverability because you like using your evasive so maneuvers. Oh, two from the rep, one from the store. Get your otherwise unwieldy cruiser into position. This power, while active, improves that maneuverability and brings you into great close-up knife-fighting position yeah. with your opponents. This, is, this console is going to be perfect for me and my inability to not dive into giant groups of combat. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Passive bonus to phaser damage just for having the console equipped. So if you're running a phaser build, this is probably a good choice. Um, and the bonus AOE phaser damage is based on your speed. So as you are moving around the map, vaporizing things, your goal is basically just going to be drive through your enemies and leave holes in them. Drive them before you. Micro I, chronic uh, warhead uh, right just there. Just a quick note on that uh, because I saw this in the notes when I was uh, making the blog earlier. Um, this is based on your actual current flight speed. It's not based on your potential speed. So you can right. turn this on and park next to something and do some damage. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Uh, if you're Just because. 
Oh, and right, a bombard. So right, to add that one. Oh, that's going to be uh, fun. With your builds that are made Good to call, have Dwayne. super low cooldown on evasive maneuvers and just flying at incredible speed to get from point to point on the map. This console gives you the ability to just drive through enemies at speed. And you know, do that's going to go show up at Karat. You PvP uh, red? So potentially a good stack there. Um, yeah, and then this okay, is yeah. uh, the trait for the console, which I really want to see the size to all of you uh, uh, gravitational anomaly folks out there. Gravitational um, anomaly right. folks. Basically, uh, when you shoot out a gravitational nexus, it gives bonus flight speed and turn rate, bonus damage, and bonus uh, bonus enter exotic and projectile damage uh, to anybody within five kilometers of the nexus, any, any allies, I mean. Right. And uh, this is based on the Yorktown Station, which is where this uh, class of ships was built. Uh, as we see in the movie, Yorktown Station studies a bunch of complex gravitational technology. Hmm. And this is remember that detail. That, the ability to generate artificial gravitational nexus uh, that gives benefits to maneuverability and exotic damage. So this is a great way to amp up your existing uh, sciency ships that do grab well and torpedoes. Come on with the new birth, right, Mystic? Damage on both of those. Captain on the bridge. How you doing? Just gonna stop in on chat for a second and say, Stu, you doing okay? You having a good day, dude? <laughs> you seem a little <laughs> grumpier than usual. Uh, all right. Um, uh, people are asking constantly, can we kit bash it? I don't know the answer to that question, but I can imagine. Uh, yeah, it's a question for probably not. Friends. Yeah, but that's okay because I can find out right now. Promo, I think they said uh, infinity. Yep, like this is kit bashable with the original Kelvin timeline constitution. Oh, it is. Uh, so you can do either or, and you can change the saucer. Side view, side view, side view. The pylons, the nacelles. So we can do Connie Beta. Looks like there's a little bug with this right now um, in the Bussard collectors. Oh, nope, never mind. That's just a visual bug for a second there. Um, ah. So, yeah, but you can see, you can get all of those options there. <laughs> and, uh,. To the, the comment of, oh, nice, you put a grab well enhancer on a non science vessel. It does have a <laughs> Lieutenant Commander that Universal hilarious. seat, so yeah. you could still do some somewhat flexible things with that. All right. Well, let's let's take this lovely ship over to our gala and, uh, uh, and get, um, uh, get, show off some of these cool new powers. Oh. Crack. <laughs> Heterochromia yeah, Bussards would have been amazing. I mean, I guess they're going to show the uh, the trailer they always a, show. A vessel that is really built to the last Stop. and to fight against um, uh, the toughest enemies that the Federation runs into in the Kelvin timeline. This is a 5 3 ship. That's, uh, I, I did not show off the buff seating. Uh, Jesse mentioned some of it. I will do that as soon as we load into Argala here. Uh -oh. Um, Michael Jarvis Wood, I don't know for sure that this doesn't kit bash with the Connie refit. This character may not have the Connie refit unlocked, uh, so I, I don't have a surefire answer to that, but I can ask. Oh, it does kit bash with the Connie refit. Thomas is watching this stream. Doesn't look <laughs> Let that me bad. know before I can even message him. It was better translated into game than it was uh, images I saw. Do you f other faction shriz? No, I I agree. I, I don't think it'd be bad. It's just that they're holy jeez. The visual on that. Thomas, it's okay if you reach. That was crazy. Just because we need more visual spam. Around this guy, did a bunch of damage. I should have done that as we were closer. That's not. It doesn't look that bad. I thought it was gonna look atrocious. Uh, the pylons from the side you, view. You often wind up fighting against it, those. I don't carriers, think it goes all the way to the app, the like the picture I saw. Vaporizes fighters. So really good. He's able to activate it again already. Smaller things than it is for big cruisers, but we're still doing some pretty good damage. Just zip zipping around this guy. I really just love how the effect reminds me of, of those little uh, plasma thread lamps. That like, that looks that really cool, actually. Novelty gift stores. <laughs> yes, exactly. Or as Augie put it, Kelvin Timeline Christmas Globe. 
Yes. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Armor can, uh, we just couldn't get the rights to sabotage. Uh, but you could turn it on on your own Spotify and play it whenever you use this power. Uh, this for is right very now, true. For right now, I'll fill in on it. Hold on. You know, there is micro chores from the Terran Temporal. Oh, you have Yeah, that's gonna be fun, though. The sage letter? No. How's your crystal ball? Ain't so crystal clear. All right, I was gonna show you guys the seats. I'll do that now. All right, so we've got Lieutenant Commander Universal. Lieutenant Universal. Shut up. Lieutenant Commander Tactical Pilot. Yeah, that. Lieutenant Commander Engineering Intelligence and Ensign Science. So there you go. Uh, it does also kit bash with the Connie Refit style. Uh, Visual looks awesome, yeah. By uh, art director Thomas Maroney just moments ago. Right side, yeah. So what's the difference between this one and the command and intel variants? Well, this is a completely new ship. Um, so it's got a new console, it's got new traits, new seating. Uh, so everything? Right. And uh, although it's intel primary uh, and pilot secondary, it's got those two universal seats, one lieutenant commander, one lieutenant. So you've got a good deal of flexibility in how you want to build it with the 5-3 weapon layout. Um, you are pretty well positioned Is to have the heavy forward firepower. Uh, okay, sounds good. You're presumably using your Kelvin phasers, but whatever you really like. I'll let you know but if we can try it for this phaser Saturday. Phasers with the PBAOE console giving a flat phaser damage bonus. Um, of course, it has the cruiser command array, so you get all four of the, the cruiser uh, auras. Lieutenant um, Commander, yeah, the Lieutenant Starship Commander. Package, which gives it a lot more survivability. Pilot, and I think... Which, given what we saw of the Connie's in the <laughs> in Star Trek movies. Beyond. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They can take a lot of punishment. Until they very suddenly can't. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, there's a cloak on this ship. Uh, Jesse, do you know if that's a weird thing with this build or if that's actually on the ship? Uh, it's because it's Intel primary. Okay, so it does have a Yeah, cloak. so it's a full yep. commander Intel and then lieutenant commander pilot. Tactical. Uh, the answer for why are we releasing the ship now is because you guys asked for it. Uh, I don't know if you saw the hype in chat when it first popped up, but the uh, uh, while the movie may be eight years old, oh god, eight years old. old. Uh, the, That's crazy uh, how old that people is. really wanted this variation of the Kelvin and uh, or the Connie, and uh, you know everyone loves more Connies. So, soft butts everywhere. Connies all how you doing? Happen on the bridge. Out there. Um, yeah, um, and that's really kind of how the, the cadence goes. We, you know, just got a new season of Discovery starting, and we're in between seasons of Strange New Worlds. Uh, so this was a perfect time to say, oh, hey, there's a variant from the Kelvin universe that we haven't done. And There's, there's like a handful of shifts in the Kelvin universe that they haven't put in yet. There's in a show or movie into the game. I mean, Al, uh, Al's big thing was we will get everything that ever appears in Star Trek into our game at right? some point. <laughs> Even the Jaeger, Lord especially the Jaeger, especially the Jaeger, and um, the uh, uh, new season of Discovery, of course, has some new ships in it. So now we have somewhere to go again. But Yay! in the meantime, had to have something for you all. Yeah, and you know, this is very exciting. I will, I will say, there was another ship um, that we, are, there is another ship that we are working on that we're very excited about. But um, we had to move some things around because uh, that ship didn't actually end up getting revealed when we thought it would. Uh, so um, I don't think this replaced that ship, but there has been a little bit of hilarious scrambling behind the scenes. There's been some would have preferred something else from yes. Lower Decks. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I would have preferred the ship you and Augie were telling me about the the Sacom, Lacombe. I, I, I think that looks a heck of a lot better. I can't wait to, to be take honest. This into, uh, uh, into like a one of the uh, Victory's life missions with all the herd flying around. Right, the swarm TFO. Yeah. Yeah, bizarre. <laughs> bizarre indeed. Uh, we're we're uh, essentially becoming a metaverse like Fortnite, uh, says Rachel Oldman. That is uh, actually 100% correct, and that was always the goal. Well, maybe not always the goal, but it's been the goal for the last couple of years. Just make it a right. Star Trek theme park where you can have the Star Trek dream Pretty that much. you dream. 
the, yeah, this is a really important Open thing theme to park. understand about the game's design ideals, too. Like, so I'm glad you, you mentioned that, Kale. Um, because Star Trek means a lot of things to different people. I grew up watching reruns of the original series with my dad. I have friends and family who got into Star Trek from Next Gen or DS9. There's a whole new generation that are learning about Star Trek from Lower Decks and Strange New Worlds and Discovery. Everyone loves different things about the show. Jesse, you missed a oh. perfect opportunity to say a whole next generation. I'm so disappointed oh. in you. You're a writer. Oh. How could you do this? Well, because I'm talking, <laughs> not writing. Um, what ship, uh, what the, ships uh, of are you so wanting from Lower the, Decks? The Star Trek Online game is a theme park where you get to experience uh, Everyone wants more Connie's. I think I'm okay with 5,000. Uh, I know. Sometimes Sean, sir, how are you doing? Other times you probably the opinion, but I'd like to come in and apply. So Granted, I'll she's not popular yet, but I'm going to give her a chance. Yeah, I think, you know, it's... I think it's it doesn't look as bad in game as I thought it uh, would. The, the idea, you get the idea. Like when we do our episodes, did they Voyager, ever add cons reliance? And the Doctor and Seven of Nine. I mean, they added the Miranda, but really not like a cons reliance. Well, enjoying those episodes to feel like they. Get I don't think they would make it anything really Voyager special, on, in my opinion. The characters that they they. Chris Calvin timeline, yeah. Obina. Oh, that's right. That the other another Excel looking ship. Online is a little bit of all of these for everyone because. Infinite diversity and infinite combinations, right? The biggest example of this is the fact that B. We have, uh, Jerry Ryan. I'd love to see all the Kel like a Kelvin timeline right? variations uh, of all the Enterprises. He wanted people who really wanted to meet Voyager Seven of Nine to still get that. Except the J. Let me just say that right now. Except. Or, uh, now deeply in love with Picard Seven of Nine. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad looking ship. It's it's all right. I like how the pylons are spread out more. As opposed to the original uh, Kelvins, where it's like all, PC, this it's kind of just day. too close Again, this is part together. Of an pack promo, so you get proper R &D R &D yeah. No, Sam, we don't. Uh, Silver Firestorm wants to know if the ship can use DHCs. I, my Do have, oh cats. my God, uh, bro! If you don't, he didn't. Strict cruiser, so I don't believe I just have the jam, can, but I won't swear to that yeah. because I didn't do that implementation. I can swear uh, to that just. I just have to look at the stats here because I know it says. I do not see the usual can equip dual heavy cannons that is there when All right. it can, so I'm going to say no, it can't. So, probably not a DHC guy, but you might be using, you know, Next narrow beam, narrow band yeah. beam arrays. Yeah, bullet, yeah. Narrow arc beam arrays or something uh, instead. Um, cruisers typically, you run. Beams is the, the a confederation, I'm Jay? Talking about you. Well, it seems like the confederation would just be the same and, and the sort of thing, like the Terrans but, would. Uh, just same ships, just the, different, the you know, is like a, visual a style. Mostly supposed to be do Signia broadsides or bridges. Yeah, ones. Sean. I want the NX bridge for some nice. reason. Um, yeah, so we can only use dual sure cannons. Flight to carry, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna fly. <laughs> Thank you, Sora. We will. We will. Oh, I mean, throw down a glove. You fly if you want. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, there was a question I wanted to answer, and oh no. Yes, Augie, uh, you are in fact the Pavarotti of builds. <laughs> <laughs> to make anything sing. All right, there was a, there was a question I wanted to answer. Thanks. Yeah, I want I do because I think the bridges there just look so. Uh, but I'm um, glad to see all you people post in chat when you got into Star Trek. A lot of TNGers and a lot of TNGers. Like the size of the, the NX bridge, I like them. Honestly, tracks with what we do. No, Sora, <laughs> please, you don't have to. Pigado. Uh, Trexpert wants to know if you're going to. Uh, Pigado, uh, Pigado, Pigado. All out this weekend, Jesse. Probably. Give us more details on the uniforms, yeah. I mean, it's a weird time for me to be living in. The, the little game that I worked on back in 97, just as a tiny, tiny piece of the team, is suddenly a worldwide phenomenon. What? When did this happen? <laughs> it, I don't think it's that sudden. It's been for like 20 years now, but yeah. Yes, okay, admittedly. Yeah, it I, does look I like that like electrical sort of that ball of... ad for Fallout 4 on a city bus in LA. And I was like, uh, wait. Electricity what? that you get from <laughs> the stores. <laughs> From San Francisco stores. Uh, Who remembers San Francisco stores? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh. I started watching. Uh, sorry, Trekkie STO said. Uh, that. Mm -hmm. uh, we want a Noskin carrier. Animated series, and I started watching that and forgot I had started watching it. ADD is a wonderful thing. <laughs> oh well, get back to that. Yeah. Uh, so I see a couple of people asking about Kelvin Omni beams. Um, 
I would have to ask and check into if we have any plans to do that. I don't know of any off the top of my head. It's not impossible, but it's something I would have to ask about. But yeah, I have a feeling it's not with this ship. Plasma ball. Probably there you not go. Coming with this Much ship. better. But by probably, I mean not coming with this ship. <laughs> I can't um, believe he's still in Argala. Uh, <laughs> A2K, I believe we have some Romulan and or Klingon ships coming up, but let me. Mind you, I guess he's also talking at the same time. But... So I can tell you one way or another. While you're looking that up, Zarek yeah. says, do you non fed ships still make no money? Um, now that cross faction flying is a thing, this isn't as big of a problem as it once was. You know, we laughingly would say that there were some Klingon ships that we sold tens of, tens yeah. of them. Um, and uh, now that anyone can fly it, there's a little more demand, but a little. Like, making a Klingon ship, even though feds can fly it, just isn't as, uh, there isn't as much demand as there is for something like yeah. the Kelvin A. Uh, that's that's a simple reality of it. So how much effort can we put into making these things? Always the about money. isn't there to sustain it. Yeah. That we being still said, want to do we it. are doing, as you guys already know, we are doing the Dyson bundle. It's coming very soon. And I have seen right. the Klingon and Romulan ships from the, that bundle. And they do <laughs> exist. It's real. <laughs> um, yeah. They are pretty uh, those amazing. Are those, um, those are my noises of extreme excitement. Uh, yeah, yeah, and there's tell. there's an interesting twist. I wish they'd make a line uh, we don't class cannon as so part I'm of the game. That. Uh, but Allegiance uh, class. Yeah, oh, I have, what's that one? I don't think I should. Consider it. Consider it. Consider it. They are beautiful. Tease whatever we like, want. It's true. Um, ultimate power. Ultimate power. Irresponsibly. Um. But, uh, yeah, then so, we, get so we do occasionally want to get the Romulan, the Dominion, the Klingons, something here and there. But the reality is, like, large amounts of the player base are interested in flying Federation ships. So if we see a new ship in Discovery or Strange New Worlds, people want to use that. And we want to put that in the game. So we spend I, a lot of energy there. You know, the thing is uh, that, um, you know, a lot of things like PvP in our game is kind of a snake eating its own tail, you know. Interested, so we Legion class. I'm gonna have to look that up quickly so here. Do it. Uh, with this one, it just turns out. Gosh, just blend this shockingly, out in galaxy. most people want to play Ooh, Federation. I have to look Star at Trek, that. Uh, uh, fantasies, uh, and I say shockingly. Uh, in a, uh, Klingon, sort yeah. Of, um, what's the word? Uh, a sort of uh, a sarcastic way, because I mean, all the shows have been about Federation. All the major characters yep. that everyone loves have been mostly in the Federation. I was gonna say. I was gonna say all of them, but you know, Odo and stuff, uh, and Kira. But, um, but you know, like the majority of these shows are about the Federation, and that's why most people want to be a part of that world. Um, I'm a weirdo who loves Klingons more, but you know. Yeah, I'm a fan of Romulan designs myself, but uh, uh, you know, like someone said in the the stream there. Um, Star Trek shows have principally been about the Federation and about characters in Starfleet interacting with other members of the Federation and occasionally crossing paths with these other aliens. Nothing pieces. wrong with that. So we see Klingons yeah. around this from time to time. But to date, we haven't had a show that's just the Klingon show or something like that. And we if absolutely happened, should give it to me. In the original Paramount. Klingon. Can you imagine doing a Klingon show? But doing it like they did the the movie Prey, so oh the God, default yes. of the show is huh. everything's in Klingon. They're doing and, that. I mean, that'd be cool, actually. Doing that right now with Shogun, I was expecting them to transform it to, to mm -hmm. you know just give up and start doing English halfway through. And no, the show has been entirely in Japanese except for a few scenes, and it makes me yeah. very happy. There's been a little bit of that in Discovery season one, but yeah, doing a, a show that is like this is all about Klingons and yes, everything is in Klingon. Klingon. It would be interesting, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, that, that would be awesome. Series. That would be pretty dope. Or uh, Hall Breaks. But I think, uh, yeah, I think they should make the entire show. In class, hmm. Have to check that out. Choose <laughs> right. a right. Friends TV well, show. Um, <laughs> they all headbutt each other in the coffee room. The Oh, what is he doing? Warp and Martok cooking? <laughs> Best reason. 
Whoa! Okay, that, that goes away now. And then we'll show this. Can't believe they're teasing it. Like you'd think they'd save it for Okay. That, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> so it reminds me of the Delta the, ship. The, uh, the, sorry, the, the ramen ship in the Delta pack. If you could figure out that that's what I was doing. That uh, looked but uh, we have pretty the ship up and decent. Down. Um, I am going to look for us for someone for us to raid. Um, in the meantime, uh, Jesse, tell us something you hope will be in the Fallout series that you created. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I want to. I want to go back to that again. What was that? Where is that? Look at that. Um, again with the hammerhead. Ugly as the T fives. I, I, I with the T fives, I did like the Romulan one. Look at that. That 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 that's all right. I still don't think that's. It's an improvement over the the KDF one, uh, like you said there, Sov. But I I want to look at this again. On the one, where is it? Yeah, that reminds me of the the ale ale, whatever that ship is. They like that hammerhead look. For some reason, Sora. We've had that on that the quib cartoon backwards from Starcraft. Like it looks like it has some fins there at the top with kind of the derpidex sort of twin wings there above and below. But the the front of the ship, I have to say that looks overall cool, cooler. I do I do kind of like the look of that. I'd like this. Yeah, the Fed one got the uh, got the the ugly stick tr treatment. Going on one, it looks like a blend between Derpidex and White Star from Babylon Five. Rami White Stars looks like the Rami. Yeah, that's the name of it. Um, the uh, that's the ship that reminded me of the ale. The ale. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Looks like yeah. I again, I like the the original one because it just looked like this a, a thin Derpidex. But that looks quite interesting. Hmm. Not sure though if I'd get the bundle. I'd have to. I'd have to see how the Federation looks because that definitely looked like the ug the, ug the ugliest one, ugliest one of the freaking group there. Elven time a shadow. I I hundred percent agree. There's still a handful of ships that they have not added. But how you doing? Captain on the bridge. We don't see yeah no i want to see the the federation one that would be interesting so well that is the 10 forward there's some interesting things to look forward to definitely almost caused me an and the rahi ramen the ray the rahi the rahi how do you say it say that uh alahi elahi um doing good just kind of going over what we missed here terms of the um, new ship Ilal 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 have yeah it's true androids Ra the, the Rahai 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 thank you Sov okay let's let's close all this down shall we uh, looks like the Klingon dagger. Hmm. Uh, let's put that back on and then ta da. All right, look at that. Just in time paperwork all done for that. So good, good things to talk about in that one. Looked pretty interesting. Those Dyson, the Calvin. I, I can't say I'm gonna get it. 
it, I, I, I would put on the list, I guess. But other than that, right? I feel like one of my sob actually, to be honest with you, my sovereign, um, Odyssey. This character is on the sovereign. This character is on the Odyssey. Uh, hopefully we get promo packs on Thursday. Oh, you mean just like, here you go, try it out. Try your luck. Perhaps, maybe, we'll give a couple free. Doubt it, but... Alright, where am I? I'm in Gamma Quadrant. Let's go to... RP Brits Pat, RP Brits, RP Brits. What the frick is it? Because at least everyone can head over if they want to. Nani? What? Do not have that in Sphere of Influence? Oh, there. Jeez. So, some need to see. I gotcha, I don't need to sail. Oh, I gotcha. Most likely, especially they know that there's a new ship. Yeah, they're probably, you're, they're probably uh, right there. They'll probably have a sail there. Yeah, those, I feel like those are like the better ones to, to grab on sale. And then, oh, hello, sweetheart. Usually is kind of a sail. Mm. Urgh! And that is... Urgh! Urgh! What? Bye, love. Bye, love! Well, I'm going to be on my Odyssey because I just feel like it. She's, um, I need to get, I need to get some energy candy. That drift. Ooh. 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 Beautiful. Okay. Let's get some energy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get some energy candy here before we start stuff. Paperwork is all done. Okay. Some of that. Oh wait, shoot, we have a red alert. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. We have our red alert. Let me grab that first. Just freaking look at that freaking shot. Mm. Sorry. Uh, um I see a Lucifer here already. Which Lucifer is that one though? Ah, Sora. Sora, stay right there. I'll be right back. I forgot that. Oh, yeah, no, it's okay. I can do it on this tune. Whatever. Screw it. Screw it. Uh, we're going to do the red alert quickly. You should see me, Triz. Yes. Uh, I get so excited. Yes! Yes! Yeah. You know, the day that you don't see me excited for Star Trek Online is probably going to be when they sunset this game, which is still far, 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 far. Hoping to get the Neo Con before 2024 ends. Yeah, nice. Bit of a nice. Oh, we have this little Lucifer. There's we go, and someone just shot up here with that. 
you just shot up there. Name is Lord of Vader in a Galaxy class. <laughs> Somewhere, someone's going like, "What, Nani?" This doesn't feel right. Okay, we're gonna just do that quickly. That's it. Sorry, sorry. Let's uh We Woo Odyssey class? Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. Just like Darth Vader in Space Talk the other day. Nice. But a knife. Alright, let's go get some dilly dill on this character quickly, shall we? Oh shoot, overshot, overshot, overshot. Uh, Tina, how are you? Captain on the bridge. Already? Prick. Oh, dear. Hold on. Uh, GG, thank you. Elysium's always good. to grab something. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Not that this tune needs any parts. Or, marks. Karen, we'll take it. We'll take it. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go for... More! Uh, the night is good. Tina, how is yours? Jim, how are you? Captain on the bridge. So who's picking what premium ship for the event when it ends? I'm not 100% sure, Jim. I went through this exercise, I uh, believe, like a month ago. I, I don't know. But there's no rush. How about you? You got yours uh, figured out? He says, What? Uh, Robbie! How are ya? Captain on the bridge. Enterprise A. And we got Chris. Sir, how you doing? Admiral, if you will come with me. Yeah, you ask for complete my Lexington grant. It's nice. There you go. Do you know which gamble box? Infinity. Promo packs. Was it promo, promo packs, right? And we all live to torment. Why? 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 World Razor? Nice. Stargate! How you doing? Captain on the bridge. Alright. Um, uh, oh, look at that. We got a Vanessa. We have a Vanessa. Might as well get a Vanessa. Because we can choose. I mean, you're right. Uh, yeah, the box ones... Uh, uh, Chris. Bonds. It's how we passive aggressively share our love. <laughs> passive aggressively. All right. Well, y'all can have fun. I'm in my tank, so not that it matters. 
Honestly, probably going for the Connie too. Connie, yeah. Is it? I'm looking at it right now. On another screen. Is it any for anyone else? More aggressive than passive. Oh, yeah. I would have to agree with that statement. I would have to agree with that statement. Is it buffering for you, Chris? I, I'm looking at it right now from my other screen. It looks fine. Ooh, that, that warp out! Ooh, that was so good! We're gonna get the Con 3 Excelsior too? Mmm. Oof. <laughs> That's. Oof. That's. Uh, oof. Between the two, I think I'd, I'd definitely have to go for the Neo Connie first. Anna, how you doing? Captain on the bridge. Good morning. How are you? I need to be buying my pets or anomalies or my pets. Mummy rare, nice. Beams everywhere console, yeah. That just is a great. Breaking console. Scanning the nanite traffic. Got it. Target shields have failed. You will be how far. Oh shoot. Sorry. I'll I'll be right here. Y'all kill that anyways. I thought it was dead already. Usually it is. My bad. Ten. Terrain. Sensors confirm that the transport cut. Actually, I should probably like transfer this to. Oh no, wait, the command one. I only have that on Triz. I only have that on Triz. Uh, stream and gonna build like some far beam board console instead tune open to camp reward uh sh yeah should be all right no caffeine a work of not me writing on my own sci-fi course while watching free to work that oh wow jeez so Okay, cool. 
Yep. Let's help you out by the way, Chris is so away from coming. About to change my specs. Oops! And the Kelvin Honey. To put in my body based on nice. Waiting for a bit. PS4. There you go. Uh GG. I see a uh, Delkina here, so I guess what we're gonna do. Let me get that shelfie with that bad boy. Shelfie with that bad boy. Alright, let's go. Uh GG. Imagine that, Tina. Fun. What? No fun. No, it's kidding. All right, let's uh, get some. I even oh, I did here. But put that there. Did we lose anyone? We lost someone. Or Dwayne. We lost Dwayne. Where's Dwayne? There he is. Warthog, it's time to go to my fellow caps. Uh, Blaze, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Good Nightly pew pews and paperwork, nice. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go on. Oh, Chris, um, did are you able to join, or are you working? You're just kind of parking and chilling. You want to join? Get you in. Swap you out. Working? Okay. You're just here for the shelfies, and that's okay. We like the shelfies. The shelfies is what makes this game fun for me. Well, part of it. All right. Let's have fun. We're going to go straight into the Belly's Beast, just because I, I haven't done this in a while, so... Well, a while, I probably mean like a couple weeks. I think someone died when I did it too. <laughs> so, maybe some redemption. The Belly's Beast? Yeah! What did I say? Belly's a Beast? Right in the middle, smack dab while everything's exploding. Everything is going pop, pop, pop. See if the old Odyssey can still take it. Too much bacon in your belly. <clears throat> you said belly's beast. Did I say? Oh, sorry. Ha! Belly's beast into the belly's beast. Beast of the belly. <laughs> Dang it. Ew. Triz gonna die? Probably. Ace, how you doing? Captain on the bridge. <laughs> Reductor. How you doing? Captain on the bridge. Into the belly to wab it? No. All right, here we go. Your efforts are futile. Destroy this vessel, and I will claim another. Wayne, you're you're, uh, you're twelve clicks away from me. Eleven clicks. Can't help you for ten clicks away.
Oh, someone caught something. Bye. See ya. I am eternal. Didn't die that time. The end. Ooh. GG. It went incredibly smooth. Uh, woodcutters. Ray, how you doing? Captain on the bridge. How are you doing? Keyboard. It's not right. Road trips been feeding care. Oh, really? And I thought of your round. Oh. I control every ship, every drop. Kind of same spot? That's crazy, Sam. And I got vengeance and build emulating vigilance on it. Nice. Oh, man, I would like the ship to go now. Yes, that's a pretty good one. Between. Yes, they did, Chris. Exploring. How you doing, exploring? Captain on the bridge. Myself, I was trying to build Avenger. You did a couple of months ago. I bought the wrong. Oh, really? Oh, which Avenger? Oh, sorry. Uh, you, like the um, the inquiry. Oh, trade. Oh, okay. They've track quote Triz. Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. What would be my favorite track quote be? I didn't think about that one. Well, I guess the Q farewell has been used a lot. Here, <laughs> that's it. That's such a good one. Awesome shit. No pager lands. A bit more triz, really. Are you doing? I'm doing good, Ray. Thank you for asking. The old has the pager lands on. Nice, uh, Augie. I wish they would unlock the one on the Phantom. Oh man, I, I love that one. Forget the name. Ooh, that is from my favorite episode. Oi. Hmm. Tough little ship. Little. <laughs> there's so many. It's hard. Just coffee. That is. That's hard, man. That is a hard one. Oh man. See again. The only issue that I've had with this. And maybe it's going to fix it, Chris, if you're going to get the ship. I'd love to see what the pylons look on that configuration. But mind you, I don't mind it, but the new one does have slimmer nacelles too, so I guess. But the side profile of the new pylons was the one concerning me because it felt like it was just too triangular or too sharp. I don't know. It didn't look too bad. So the odds, eh, probably, <laughs> probably zero, Jim. They have so much to learn of the code that is here now that I would think that that is 
far from their minds, if at all. Not even sure if they're aware about the foundry. Let's call it squirrel. Let's, I don't think much of it. 37 years come within it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one, Tina. I was meant to buy the adapted. Oh, really? Oh, best quote. And also, you also. Uh, Cameron, how you doing? Captain on the bridge. I just want to notify that Paramount has been removing Roblox Star Trek game after years of being on Roblox. Paramount are now attacking fan-made games on. Really? Well, that kind of sucks. No need for that. Or max level characters, yeah. So much for that. Uh, let's close this quickly. Check out. Consoles plan for. Uh, they should, Red. Not sure what their criteria would be for that, but... Did you see it? Nice, yeah. I saw some pictures of it. The flagship set has been unlocked. Yeah, definitely. It's a fake. Of regret. Z. That was good. That was good. Uh, hey, hey Scott, why don't you come join us? Uh, Dwayne, hope you don't mind. We'll get, uh, caught to join us here. In the duder. In the dude. The dude? Unlocked. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Like I said, that that lance from the Phantom, I'd love to see that unlocked. Never hit me. I'm not Picard, yeah. Um, who else is here? I know Chris is working, but making sure we try to include everyone that wants to kind of join in. All right, what's another good one? Um. We haven't done the hell with honor yet. Oh wait, y'all don't mind. Hey, for the team that we got here, do you mind if we try Wolf Three Five Nine Elite? I haven't done it yet, and I'll sit at the very top, and then while everyone else kind of picks a side and saves, I guess because you have to save, right? You have to save the um, the uh, the pods. Do we want to try that? I'd like to try it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holding the hello computer. So the explorer, that each person needs to pick a side. And one top. I'll stay at the top to try to get the uh, thing's attention. Yeah, my game was one of the games. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you get like a, me um, a message or something? Bring jelly? Well, I don't want the jelly. I'm going to bring the Sov. No, Sov. The, uh, the Odyssey. Tell you what. Everyone pick a side. Just make sure someone is on one side or the other. If someone's there already, someone go to the other side. Uh, I want to try it. Let's see how we do. Easy keyboard. Yeah. 5-3 Sovereign class. Oh, yes. 100%. I would literally frizz my pants. What was it doing again? Battle. I'll I'll go on the top. Uh, battle. Oh, there it is. Sovereign. That. Could, well, I just want a five-three sovereign. It just seems like it's you know should be a five-three regardless. Five the experimental slot. Ooh. Dun -dun -dun. Attention all hands. This is Admiral Hanson. Uh, 
buy three sovereign. I don't. I just want to buy three sovereign. I really do. What if a token are creating you to add a weapon slot? Ooh, Mike, that'd be. Ooh, it's what like a a five four. <laughs> that'd be crazy. Oh, we got the. Uh... I am uh, that's paramount one the game taking the stupid torture can go. Oh that sucks man. At the front case. Again, just make sure everyone's just take get aside and I'll head over to the top. We are bread. <laughs> we are bread. Love your carbs. Oh, 6-5 level would be awesome. Oh, that's, man. That's such overkill. Still some hard points. Wow, they're stinging. Holy jeez. That's crazy. I don't know if that's going to reach you. Holy jeez. Oh wow. Recover all escape pods. That's crazy. All right, well. That's nuts. 
Because I know some of them are like really close to the cube. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try again next time. Tell him to try next time. Sure, this likes to be on top. What? No. Weapon. That'd be crazy though. Six, six. We <laughs> are the Bjorn. Definitely Swedish. Lower your pants and calm your. What? Your sister just kinky. Of I don't like Man, Star Trek robots because it's a Paramount. It's not Star Trek clothing Roblox. Yeah, that that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, Cameron. Unlimited Omni weapons, yeah. But you can only have like six torques at the front, if anything. Six mines at the back. Nuts. These? What? She's being kinky. No, it was Sob, not me. She said something about being kinky. I don't even know how it got there. I don't know how it got there. To be honest. I'm sweet and innocent. Girl, we just need to scroll up, see what you said. I. All right, let us, um, where is it? <clears throat> uh, there it is. Lies and slander, scroll up. <laughs> I'll take a screenshot. It'll forever be here, actually. <laughs> Nicholas, hey buddy, how's it going? Admiral, if you I'm doing with... good, how about you? Daddy Triz is a little bit more stable tonight, so... Um... Really can't complain. Last time we talked, I wasn't really in the mood. Imagine for a moment they unlock the limits. A Maelstrom's? Oh my god, that would be insane. 4.3? I didn't think... 4.3. So, what does that mean? Is that number one or two? What's that? I don't... What What place is that? You're first? Well, there you go. You know. <laughs> so much for Spencer trying to. Trying to uh, get due up there, eh? Torps, baby! Let's go! Woo! God, could you be any slower? Dear lord. Uh, congratulations! There you go! Uh, just today? How to go? Uh, Jim, thanks for stopping by. Take care. Get some good rest. This is nice. So he didn't sabotage you this time? <laughs> I was I was saying that uh, Spencer was like purposely sabotaging Nick to, to not get any higher. Had too many DPS from Maelstrom. Geez, that torp is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Move it. Let's go.
Uh, sorry, how, um, how fast was that? I have to, have to look at that. Because now there's like only three points that you guys are heading to. Mirai! Like it's crazy fast how how fast it is now. I can't keep up. I'm too old for that. Well not too old. I'm just They tried to take me in the eagle and I just was flying all the, all over the place. It's like it's just not Acumate to that speed. Choose your words carefully, sir. Uh, GG. Oh, you know what? This is probably it. I forgot about the music on this one. Let's just go. Let's just go. Uh, two hours ago. Um, Tina, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. 38 seconds. Jennifer, how you doing? Captain on the bridge. It was actually kind of slow. We had another of all overkill moments. Yeah, shenanigans, definitely. I forgot. Oh, uh, I am not Nugget Blackheart. How you doing? Captain on the bridge. Finally recognize the Kelvin Prize A at last. Now we can start. Forward. I want an official model. Yeah. Yeah, right. Um, I think Augie last time that we did that, I, I had to mute that part out of the stream, I think. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. I get emails anyways. Email notifications and such. All right. Um, okay. Where are we going here? go here. Got to get Dwayne back here. Da, 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 da. Don't mind, sir. We'll get Dwayne back. Get um, Nessa and Scott. Uh, I, I think that's what had happened. Well, well, we'll find out. Well, we didn't get kicked off, so we'll find out. We'll definitely find out. All right. Um, so we took Sora into the ISC. So um, going to be a bit of a shorter one. Got to work on something before we head to bed. 
but we're going to do this one here. Uh, always end off on the ISE just because. In time, get some stuff done before heading to bed. But that was actually pretty cool watching that 10 4 with you guys. Wish I could do it when it's actually on, but in real life duties first. Excited for the Dyson to see what kind of shenanigans you do with that. Uh, can't say I'm impressed with the Klingon one, but the Romulan one does look pretty okay. okay too bad. Okay, no problem, Sora. Uh, thank you for joining the views. Appreciate that. Duty? Yes. And prosper. The upgrade? Yeah. DC already? Again? Why? The situation is grim. All attempts to hail the star base have failed. We must assume the enemy Let's has taken control. This. this is not acceptable. We it's must not acceptable. Defending the star base. Only. Do 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 do. Now. Oh my god, why? Scanning the nanite transports. Oh wow. Oh snap. Do, do, do. Woohoo! Oh, I gotta take the grabbing off that build. I love it though. It's fun. Dude, I'm not in your guys' run. You can't, you can't always go for your your idea of that that's just crazy keep safe bro i'm going to uh cameron thank you for stopping by again sorry to hear about that but a stranger um between the two the ramen one is better in my opinion i don't i don't necessarily like the hammerhead look we've had a couple ships already with that like tamir the quib eh. so the dyson one look Alal, Alal, look pretty good. Why are the dice chips? Are we going by Dyson area? I don't think so. Uh, very nice. Ace, how you doing? Captain Another Albert. character forgotten. Okay, you keep it going. I'm trying to spark. Ooh, yeah, they're probably gonna get that. Definitely gonna get Pike on in there. Like, PyCon is very, um... 
he is kind of iconic, I think. A lot of people seem to like Pycon, especially his moment in the movie with uh, Janemba. They try to help out Vegeta and um, Goku, buy him some time before the fusion. I like that. I like that, Scott. His thunder flash attack, yeah. And I'll be happy. Um, I guess I'm being summoned here quickly. Milk, milk, he's scared. Go, how's it going? Captain on the bridge. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. Uh, thanks for the pews, my caps. That was absolutely awesome. We got some good one ins there. Let's get a fleet shot here before I head off. But this is a quite the interesting looking fleet we got going on. Watching you live, not playing much anymore. Oh, really? Well, you know, sometimes you gotta take a break or all the way. Sometimes it is a thing. It's okay. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully things are well, regardless. All right. What are my pendevers? I think they're pretty easy. So I'm going to have to sit in a scoop bat on Nukara. So let's get the Dabo stuff done. At least I can just go to one transwarp area. Spin the wheel. Spins, spins the wheel. Haven on me. Nice. Good. Master dude! How you doing? Admiral, if you will come with me. See, the way Master Dude and Augie should come in is, you know, usually Augie's first. So he'll be like Surprise, mother Oh, that didn't play out correctly. Surprise, Mother Beeper! And then, of course, Master found this. Surprise, Mother <laughs> Hey! Say! Oh. Oh, yeah, Scott, of course. I'm in like a wrecking ball. Yep. Like a. <laughs> <laughs> I did. What? In collector mode, I have a side console built for scout ship that shreds everything. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Ah, uh, found. I ripped a video of the original. Oh. <laughs> Can't get it. Put it on the editing site. And then did you just manually press the beep? Welcome to Jordan. Did you beep beep like sheep? <laughs> Now that song is playing in my head. The song is playing in my head. Look, right, so did Spencer, oh geez. Okay, reading chat and running, not so good. Spin the wheel and win. He spin the wheel. Oh, I can get some going here. Bam! Got that in. Did you count as the swearing by proxy? Me? No. Oh yeah, we got it! Nice! Let's go! Mm. 
when you have no but that's crazy though that is definitely crazy uh nicholas you and your 4.3 is it 4.3 what was spencer's 4.1 oh wrong wrong she's over there i'm not ashamed to say i have songs from amazing jackal brothers jackal brothers i can't say i've ever heard of them Dun, dun, dun. Oh crap. Suit's not on. My suit on. Important thing here is Nick is on top of Whoa. Yo. You turn on Dabo the same if you bet Latinum or EC. It's always EC and you get the Latinum. If that's what you're saying the same pump. Oh, wow. Look, I'm outside. I don't have a suit. Or does it not go on until I get off? Whatever. Uh, what is it? The health. So... I can... What? Take that off. And set that up. There we go. Uh, a great way to end the stream while sitting in a freaking... No comment. Yeah, that's 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 quite the comment. Uh, you're commenting inside your... No. Um, okay, Caps, we're going to call it here. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us here while we watched, especially earlier when we watched the 10-4 stream. Uh, I'm going to work on a video before heading to bed. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out here with us on the YouTube for the past two days. Tomorrow, we are back on Twitch. And all of you are more than welcome to join us there. To those who have not been there yet, bear a bit of warning. There is some bit of gassy, bit of goaty bit of screaming noises sometime there so it's a bit of a different experience on twitch but uh still fun nonetheless uh in the drop down box i said that you can choose really i didn't even know that i've always been using ec well those tiny um i'm gonna try so tomorrow is the start of spring league but it is a little earlier so i'm gonna try to before heading to the game so at least they're in or at least before the stream so um, uh, Nick, again, congratulations to you on your new record. My caps, again, thank you for all the support. Do us a huge favor before you go, hit the like button to help the VOD out. Uh, again, of course, it'll help the overall channel. Uh, it is very much appreciated, but regardless, you guys just hang out here it is very humbling and I appreciate it. So, with that said, LAP, have fun, and take care. Mwah.